Going back to the Hathaway. Five years ago, we destroyed what for many was a symbol of hope. For a reason they'll never know. We cannot blame them for thinking us the cause of their misery. Though it's to give them a better tomorrow, they see only that we've made their lives harder today. Yet the boil must be lanced if it is to heal. I can't help but wonder if we've made the right choice. When Sid said that he wanted to create a world where we were free, free to choose our own path, I honestly don't think it mattered to him if that choice was right or wrong. Only that it was our own. I miss him. <laughs> A world where we can live and die as equals. That's what he wanted. What we want. And that's why I bear his name. It's why we've all chosen to bear his legacy. And I'm not going to let anything stand in our way. Rides over, lovebirds. Home sweet home. Oh, they are gonna be making the airship. I knew it. This is not the hideaway we went to before. Why is it so different? Otto was asking after you. Let's go and see him. Uh, never a dull moment. Come back, Sid. Finish with that log so we can... Otto will want to know what happened in Cosmos. I expect he'll be in the mess. I don't know if we were done there. I just came here to check up on things. Is it like this because Titan came through and wrecked everything or Costing us that. That was down here somewhere. This morning, Victor sends his thanks. <laughs> I doubt Kupka will miss the fools he sent to catch me. Not a single one of the bearers we saved showed any interest in coming with us. No one seems keen to join hands with an outlaw. Any news while we were away? None worth mentioning. Gav's still off keeping an eye on the Republican army. That should be back any day now. That's messed up. Understood. If it only has one eye. In the map room. <laughs> Keeping an eye. Is that Sharon? Can't work that one out. Karen. Charn. There must be better places than the hull of a gutted airship to bury your nose in a book. Yet this is where she's chosen to be. And I'm sure she has her reasons. Some new lady. Hey, Koopo. This is where we get our um, hunting things, I think. 
Vivian, who's Vivian? I trust I'm not intruding. Hello. Back from your mission? I'm beginning to think your habit of surviving cannot be attributed to luck alone. One might say the same of you. Vivian Ninetales. I'll have you know that only four attempts have been made on my life, and none was especially memorable. So, to what do I owe the honor? Could it be that you've come for one of my lessons? <laughs> Is that so hard to believe? Very well, then. Shall we start with the state of the realm? To absolutely no one's surprise, she finds herself at the mercy of armies and outlaws. Well, mostly armies. Though that's not for want of trying, is it, Clive? But the real question is, how did we get here? History lesson? Long though Sambrek's dominion over northeastern storm has endured, recent days have seen the blight wrest ever more land from her grasp. For which reason, she has continued to wage war on her rival across the strait, hoping to claim less blackened pastures. But Odin would sooner pawn his sword than Walud relinquish Ash. And the Empire pays dearly for every blade of grass bent beneath Sambraqua boots. Little wonder then that Sylvester set his sights on a crystalline dominion, an altogether easier target, possessed of no... Battle of Billinus Tor was a conflict fought between Holy Empire and Sam Burkay. Oh, between the Holy Empire of Sam Burkay and the Kingdom of Borlove. <sighs> I need to see where Walud is on the map. That's ether. It was five years ago. While you were busying yourself with the destruction of Drake's head, that the Empire made its move, subjugating its theretofore neutral neighbor. A nation which could legitimately claim to be the center of the world. Certainly, there is no better place to stage an army. From there, the Holy Empire's reach spans the Twins. The Non-Aggression Treaty was the only thing keeping them in check. But if they truly broke the pact without provocation, it is only a matter of time before others reply in kind. The Holy Empire, the Dalmechian Republic, the Kingdom of Walud, and of course, our friends in Yaran. Who will be left standing, I wonder, when the last drop of blood is spilled? Where's the iron... Uh, iron... People at the beginning of the game. In Twinside. Do you not fear for your home? Oh, dark clouds are wont to gather over the Dominion. Yet in spite of it all, she has ever endured. And when the storm has passed, I... Now, as to the matter of payment for today's lesson, complete a simple errand for me and we... Even. Right. Return this volume to old tomes in the shelves. Tell him it was um, adequate. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to visit our resident historian. Let's see where. I'll go check the shop. Although I like my sword, I just want to see what else is there. Really wish we could customize our armor and stuff, but hey, can't have a perfect game. Well, don't just stand there gawping. Go on then. Same old stuff. <laughs> Oh, there's some new stuff here. Increases limit break gen. Charges magic spells and maintains charge. Automatically charges magic spells. 
says like you don't have to hold it to charge it. That'd be awesome. Elixir. Instantly restores all HP. No. It's a big goofy guy. Uh... You didn't happen to run out of potions while you were away, did you? <laughs> We've a fine selection of tonics and tinctures. Or perhaps you'd be interested in some new accoutrement. Gear. Gear. <laughs> I probably can't upgrade this, but I want to see. Want? Come on. That's new. 11 bolt. <laughs> it's even better than what we got already. Yeah, why can't you ever upgrade the... Kinda sucks. Goldwork Sash. So let's craft the new sword. Flame Tongue. Wait, flame tongues are old sword. We got to get rid of it. I like the way it looks, though. Oh well. Not bad. If I do say so myself. That it. I'm fine. Weird looking. Swept. It's over to the tavern crown for me. Lawsman Harpocrates. Now that is a name I have not heard for a long time. So long, in fact, I had half forgotten it was mine. Welcome home, Clive. You were missed, as always. I believe this belongs to you. Vivian asked me to return. Ready? <laughs> Our resident scholar devours books faster than young Tet does lemon tarts. Would that I could do the same. But alas, I no longer possess the necessary constitution for such indulgence, either in words or tarts. That said, I have continued my search for mention of the creature you encountered at Drake's Head. But without access to the great libraries of Oriflam or the Dominion, I regret that I have been able to find little and less. I am sorry. Please, don't apologize. I'll send word to our associates. See if they can't furnish you with more books. I fear it is not more books that I require, but the right ones. Mayhap we look in the wrong places. There are still libraries to the north. I'll see what I can do. You are too kind. There are not many in this world who would indulge the whims of a tired old historian. You're not too tired to go filching Kubo nuts, though. Always got a pocket for him. Nicks him off the Moogle. Hush now. We all know there's no such thing as Moogles. <laughs> the twins seem well. Aye. Yet they laugh. The loss of their parents weighs heavy. Titan took much from us that night, and the wounds that remain. They are not quick to heal. Which is why we must do that. We must. Good day. Gav will be back soon. I should get some rest while I can.
How good it is to see you, Clive. I have a few new notes that might interest you. Now this, I believe you will find most interesting. What subject shall we consider today? Always welcome, Clive. Not back a blink, and you're already off solving everyone's problems. It looks good, Clive. Goes well with the scowl. I'd had that brand for so long. I'd forgotten what life was like without it. What it was like to be myself. And it's all thanks to you, Talia. The scalpel did most of the work. Ah, before I forget, a rider was here with a letter from Gav. Otto left it on your desk. Otto stole it? All right, I'll have a look. And then... We'll get some rest. I don't know what stole us means, but okay. Could Gav have thought worthy of a letter?
Ito was here earlier with the letter from Gav. He left it on your desk. What does Gav have to say? The Republican army is on the march, leaving Randala in Hugo Kupka's charge. With him and his men occupied with the defense of the capital, they're less likely to trouble us. Good news, then. It's more than that. This is our chance, the one we've been waiting for. Look how far we've come. All that we have here, our friends, the hideaway, are they not cause for joy? Five years. Five long years. If I could only command this power I've been granted, we might have achieved so much more. But each time I reach for it, it's like something is holding me back. Summoning an icon exacts a price not easily paid. Your body knows this only too well. It's merely trying to save you from yourself. And every burden I cannot bear falls to you. This mission of ours has made me question everything I thought I knew. But one thing has become abundantly clear. The crystals take more than they give. In exchange for momentary comfort, we must endure a lifetime of pain. War after war, loss upon loss. And now? Now they rob us of our very homes, leaving naught but dust and ash. But you're trying to change that. We are trying to change that. And to me, that's no burden. I know, but... Try not to forget. We're only here because Joshua gave us a second chance. It would be a pity to waste such a precious gift. I wonder if he's... It, it okay. Was it wasn't an illusion. I heard him call out to Ultima. If Joshua is still alive, he'll be looking for that, that thing. Do you think he will ever come back? I know he will. And we must be ready when he does. the crystals to sit hmm. I guess he did tell him about Joshua there's Joshua Speak of the devil. And so the North is lost. I knew that the blight spread ever more swiftly, Your Grace. But this, this is far, far worse than any could have imagined. It is only a matter of time before the twins are no more.
touch is ever closer to its end, and here we chase shadows. Tell me, brother. Are our efforts in vain? Master Clive, a moment, if you... Uh, my apologies, I didn't mean to... intrude. Not at all. Uh, we were just discussing strategy. Speak freely, Otto. It's Martha, from the inn. She's gone missing. Anyway. Oh no. I'll be in the mess when you've finished. Very well. I like Martha. What would make Martha leave the rest? This must be a really long game because we're barely getting we're getting those points. You know, it's so slow.
Something has happened to Martha. We need to speak with Otto. Does that one have blood on it? Um, have we any more knuckle pies? Oh, sadly not. Molly used them. Back are you? Same for you, dear. Don't waste my time. You ain't got the stuff. And how am I meant to do that then? My favorite pupil. How may I help you today? So, this is like a lore update, I guess. I have the details here. Oh, cool. Sir Tyler, hey, is he dead? Swallowed by the flames, yeah. Ambrosia. He does look a little, he's got a little different facial hair, I guess. So that's Ultima. Fine hand. <laughs> Bitch.
state of the realm is ever-changing, Clive. Volunteers just say the word. I dab hand when it comes to the old fisticuffs. Uh, of course. What do we know, Otto? Some lads from the Imperial garrison in Rosaria started a fight over at Martha's Rest. Blood was spilled. Bones were broken. The usual. But somewhere in the middle of it all, Martha vanished without a word to anyone. And that ain't like her, Clive. Something's not right. You think this was planned? Of course it bloody was. Ever since Eastpool, the Empire's been tightening its grip ...around the Duchy's balls. They've strung up everyone who's ever set eyes on a runaway... ...claiming they're traitors to the Holy Throne... ...conspiring to restore the House of Rosfield to power. I know it sounds like the bastards have turned their attentions to the poor bearers... ...meek enough to stay put. Naturally, old Martha could see the way the wind was blowing... ...complained that it was getting harder and harder to take bearers in. And now she's missing. If she's fallen into the hands of the Empire, we could be next. Couple of curse breakers are already on their way to the inn. They should help speed up the search. But if this is as bad as I think it is, you might end up having to save their asses and all. Don't worry, Otto. I'll make sure everyone gets home safe. 